Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam and other competitive exam. Here the question we can see a 34 years old lady present with symptom of fecal incontinence. 10 years previously, she gave birth to a child by normal vaginal delivery. Injury to which of the following structure is most likely to account for this process. So in this question, the key point is that a 34 years old lady present with the symptom of the fecal incontinence. That means the and 10 years previously she gave birth to a child by normal vaginal delivery. So they want to know which nerve is responsible for this symptom of the incontinence. So first of all, we have to find out a nerve which is very closely located to the vaginal wall and during the normal vaginal delivery, this nerve may be damaged and this nerve also supply the sphincter of the anal canal. So here we can see the options. The options are genitofemoral nerve, ilioinguinal nerve, pudental nerve, hypogastric autonomic nerve and obturator nerve. So we have to find out a nerve which is very very close to vaginal wall and during the normal vaginal delivery this nerve may be damaged or injured so here we can see this is the female genital area and in case of this female genital area we can see this is the normal delivery procedure and in this procedure here we can see this nerve this nerve is very closely to the vaginal opening here we can see this is the vaginal opening uh, the urethral opening and above it is clitoris and it is the female genital tract and here the vagina and a nerve is very close to the vagina and we can see this is the posterior labial nerve and this posterior labial nerve it is branched from the pudental nerve so injury to the pudental nerve and here we can see this pudental nerve it gives a branch inferior rectal nerve and it supplies the anal canal also here we can see this is the anus so this pudental nerve, pudental nerve it supplies both the vaginal area and both the sphincter of the anal canal. So injury or damage to the pudental nerve, it affects both the vaginal wall and both the anal wall and sphincteric action will be lost and fecal incontinence will be developed. So this one picture is enough to describe the whole scenario by this. So here in the second picture here we can see this is the pudental nerve and this pudental nerve sacral 2, sacral 3 and sacral 4 we know that sacral 2, sacral 3, sacral 4 nerve, uh, nerve roots from there pudental nerve arises and here we can see it is very close to the anal canal and gives rise to branch to the anal canal then it comes to the vaginal area. So during the delivery procedure this pudental nerve may be damaged here it is the vaginal wall. So, during the normal vaginal delivery, this pudental nerve here, you can see this is the main track of the pudental nerve. This pudental nerve may be injured or may be damaged or may be compromised and it will lose its normal all of the function including the continence of the anal canal. So, our final answer is now ready that it is the pudental nerve. This pudental nerve, it supplies the vaginal wall. So, during the vaginal uh, delivery, the pudental nerve is damaged or injured for this procedure the fecal incontinence also develop so our answer is now pudental nerve other nerves such as the genitofemoral area femoral nerve ilioinguinal nerve they are located in the anterior side of the abdominal wall and thigh and hypogastric autonomic plexus they are not responsible for this obturator nerve they lies in the medial aspect of the thigh so they are not close to the anal canal and not close to the vagina thank you all